to my kitchen. I am currently under quarantine for the coronavirus, which I think is all in good spirit. Don't want that to be spreading like wildfire, so might as well put everyone away while you can. With a six week break from school, I have a lot of time on my hands. So today we're in my kitchen because we're gonna make bento boxes. I grew up with my mom making me lunches. There was a time and period in life where I wanted to be like the cool kids and bring Lunchables, which looking back is such a poor mindset. Lunchables are literally the saddest thing on planet earth. The fakest tasting pizza you'll ever have touch your taste buds. And since I've been on such a kick of watching bento box videos, I thought I'd try out today and make bento boxes for my family while we're just chilling and vibing at home trying not to catch viruses. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Domestic housewife vibes? Yes, in the most unmisogynistic way as possible. Boop boop boop. A little quick disclaimer, I am clearly not a professional chef. I learned all my cooking skills from either my mom or by playing Cookie Mama on a DSi. So if you see something that isn't the right technique in this video, don't take it personally. Thank you. <laughs> And then we're gonna cook some rice in a rice cooker. Pretty much every Asian household has a rice cooker. And the one thing my family stockpiled on for the quarantine was rice, so we have plenty of it. And while that is cooking, we're gonna wash some produce. I'm just using whatever we have on hand. And I realized I didn't have to wash this cucumber, which looked questionable in the hand motions because I was gonna peel it anyways. And this is me regretting everything. And everything's washed, so we're gonna get a chop in. After cutting the cucumbers into medallions, I'm salting them to do a shallow pickle. You just add a teaspoon of salt, which extracts all the water, and you can let that sit for around 20 to 30 minutes. After that, I'm chopping up the carrots into this cute floral shape, and then for the fruits. As you can see, I make sure that none of the scraps go to waste, because once again, we don't believe in waste in this Asian household. And with our nectarines, apples, oranges, and mushrooms, we are ready to get a cooking. I'm just heating up a burner to medium heat and then adding some oil to the skillet, lubing it up, getting it real nice and greasy for the spam. <laughs> and honestly, it's not the most appetizing thing. It looks like something that would be extracted from a cyst in a Dr. Pimple Poppers video, but it's really easy to cook and work with. And if you're vegan or vegetarian, you can easily substitute tofu for this. And while we're cooking, we're gonna add condiments and seasoning because as a cultured people, we believe in having flavor. Ooh, sexy. I'm just letting the Spam get a little bit brown on both sides and seasoning it as I go along just with pepper because you don't really need to add salt to Spam. And as you can see, I cut some of the Spam into a certain shape so I can fit it into my bento design for later. And right after the spam is done, I'm tossing in the mushrooms, I'm simply sautéing them, I'm adding some teriyaki sauce, some oyster sauce, and seasoning for taste. And after they're done, I'm setting them aside in a bowl for later. And lastly, I hard boiled one single lonely egg. Now to return to our shallow pickle, we're gonna squeeze, we're gonna squoze all the water out. And after draining the water, I'm adding a little bit of red wine vinegar to taste. And then onto the seaweed. I'm cutting out face shapes for the designs of the bentos I'm doing. And this was so meticulous, so tedious. And yes, I, I did eat all the scraps. And I ended up with KK Boss's face and Animal Crossing leaves that got progressively better each time. And then let's check up on our rice. It's all done. And we're gonna paddle some of it into a bowl in which we're gonna make a little mixture with some diced mushrooms, seaweed, and sesame seeds. And we're gonna wang jangle it all together. And next, we're gonna make some onigiri, which are rice triangles. They're made for the ease of bento boxes. I was able to make four of them with my batch. And then with all the rice compiled, and everything else ready to go, it's assembly time. Firstly, I wanted to make a Rilakkuma box. Kinda turned out looking like a low budget Rilakkuma, not gonna lie. I'm placing a spam on top to make the little mouth and ears, along with some circular cutouts of seaweed for the eyes. And then we have the Animal Crossing leaf. And this box was really simple. It was honestly the ugliest out of all of them, but um, still, still cute, still delectable. And then KK Slider. I am very proud 
of this. I put so much work into making sure KK Slider would not be dishonored by this bento box. And look at him, look at him, he looks so good. And then a quick matcha latte. And with that, we have all our bento boxes and our table is set. Here is a final view of all the bento boxes we made today and I am proud of them. They're not perfect. Bento boxes are a lot of preparation and shout out to all the moms that work hard so their kids can have aesthetically pleasing and also delicious healthy lunches. And if there's anything you should learn from this video, take some time to eat with your family. When we're in quarantine, it's really easy to think about what we don't have. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. Remember to love those around you and Frickin' social distance yourself, bro.